Number 10. Killing for Content Zachary Latham moved in with his grandparents in Vineland, New Jersey when he was 16 years old. The teenager soon developed strange feelings for his neighbors, especially 51-year-old veteran William T. Durham. William often complained to Zachary's grandparents about his reckless driving through the neighborhood. Zachary's grandfather had a talk with his grandson and warned him to clean up his act and insisted he apologize to William for his behavior. Zachary said sorry, but it wasn't really sincere. He kept on driving like a madman. It seemed his neighbor's complaints only fueled his unruly behavior. The relationship between Zachary and the Durham family became heavily strained for two years. They would often get into arguments, but slowly but surely, tensions arose. Zachary seemed to enjoy instigating fights with the Durham family and saw it as an opportunity to create content for his TikTok. He even posted a video of him calling William's wife a Karen after she begged him to stop driving like he was in Fast and the Furious. One day, Zachary almost ran over William's son. That was enough for the two men to get into a heated argument. Zachary got a couple of knives and a gun from his house and headed outside to confront Durham and his wife. Zachary then fired his gun at one of Durham's sons. Zachary slashed William in the arm with his knife before retreating into his garage. Meanwhile, Zachary's wife was recording the whole encounter for TikTok. William was stabbed under the armpit, puncturing his lungs. And police were called, and William was taken to the hospital, where he later died. William's lawyers believe that Zachary lured William to his death in hopes of gaining social media notoriety. He continually messed with his neighbors so that he could record their reactions for TikTok. He even bragged about killing William in a video. Zachary was charged with first-degree manslaughter and two second-degree counts of assault. Number 9. The Suitcase In July 2020 in Seattle, Washington, teenagers making a TikTok video found a suitcase washed up on a beach. In the video, the teens are excited about finding something so random, hoping it's money or something else valuable they wanted to record themselves opening it up. But the closer they got to it, they realized an awful smell was coming from it. The TikTokers were beyond shocked when they discovered two dismembered bodies stuffed inside. They called police who came to identify the remains as belonging to 35-year-old Jessica Lewis and 27-year-old Austin Cash Wenner. The couple had been shot to death and stuffed inside the suitcase. Upon investigation, it was discovered that Jessica and Austin had been murdered by their landlord, 62-year-old Michael Dudley. Detectives said that 10 days before the bodies were discovered, neighbors heard yelling and gunshots at Dudley's house. Lewis was found to have died on June 16 from multiple gunshot wounds, while Wenner died the next day from a gunshot wound to the torso. An exact motive for the killing has not been confirmed, but prosecutors believe Dudley was upset with Winner about not paying rent on time and for, quote, bringing potential criminal activity to the home, end quote. According to court documents, Dudley was charged with two counts of second-degree murder and is held on $5 million bond. Number 8. Sibling Murder In 2021 in Pennsylvania, 14-year-old Claire Miller was accused of stabbing her 19-year-old wheelchair-bound sister to death at their home while their parents slept. Police say she then called 911 shortly after 1 a.m. in a hysterical state, allegedly telling law enforcement she had just killed her sister Helen. Cops say they found the teen outside the family home, covered in blood and trying to wash her hands in the snow. Claire pointed them to Helen's bedroom where she was discovered with a pillow covering her face and a knife wound in her neck. Before Claire killed her sister, she posted a now viral video on her TikTok. Her account has been since shut down. According to Business Insider, Claire's account, believed to be Spirits and Such Consulting, was flagged for violating the app's community guidelines, which prohibit users who promote violence or engage in acts of violence. Miller had over 22,000 followers on TikTok before her account was taken down, though it was unclear if news of her arrest had boosted her numbers. The circumstances of the stabbing are not known. Claire is currently in police custody and is being charged as an adult because Pennsylvania does not consider homicide as a delinquent act. Number 7. The Crash TikTok star and British influencer 22-year-old Mahek Bukhari has been charged with murder after two young men died in a horrific car crash in February 2022 in the UK. Mahek has more than 120,000 followers on TikTok and 43,000 on Instagram. Many of her posts show her modeling different outfits. She also posts makeup tutorials and other videos, some featuring her mother. 
Mahak praised her relationship with her mom and had recently made a chilling TikTok video in which she joked about killing someone. Quote, babe, I killed someone today, end quote, the video joked. The young influencer had also recently come under scrutiny after posting a video of a flashy car swerving recklessly on the road. The video prompted a TikTok warning statement that, quote, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. End quote. On the morning of February 11th, 20-year-old Saqib Hussein and 21-year-old Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin died after being, quote, driven off the road and crashing into the central reservation of the A46 in Leicester. Police say a gray Audi TT and a blue Seat Leon were also traveling, quote, at speed in the area at the time of the collision. Upon hitting the central reservation, the victim's car was split in two, having allegedly been chased and rammed while driving. Prosecutors said that during the high-speed chase, one of the victims called 999 to alert police. He said, quote, unfortunately, a loud scream could be heard from the caller and the call disconnected, end quote. While vehicle-related deaths would more commonly result in manslaughter charges, the allegations that Mahak chased and rammed the victim's vehicle has resulted in murder charges. Number 6. Set on Fire In December 2020, a man in China was sentenced to death a year after he set his ex-wife on fire while she was live-streaming on the Chinese version of TikTok called Duyin. Lamo, a 30-year-old Tibetan woman and mother of two, was killed after her ex-husband Tang Lu doused her in gasoline and burned her alive at her father's home in the southwestern province of Sichuan. Lamo was, a Lamo was filming a video in the kitchen. She was dancing and laughing and having a good time. That is, until Tang Lu reportedly broke into the home armed with a cleaver and gasoline and started attacking her in front of her family members. The vlogger sustained burns on 90% of her body and was left fighting for her life for more than two weeks in the hospital. Some reports from Chinese media suggested that the suspect was seeking revenge because Lamo had filed for divorce due to domestic violence. Lamo had over 782,000 followers and 6.3 million likes before being assaulted by her vengeance-seeking ex-husband. Number 5. Just a Prank In 2021, twin brothers Alex and Alan Stokes came under fire after filming prank videos for TikTok where they pretended to rob a bank. In one of the videos, they are shown making a getaway of sorts while wearing ski masks and carrying a big duffel bag filled with money. In this bizarre attempt at a prank, the twins ask random people on the street to help them. They ask people for clothes to change into or a car to make an escape, but most of the bystanders simply shrugged them off. The Stokes twins called an Uber, thinking it might make for a funny interaction on camera. When the driver showed up, he was shocked at what he saw and refused to give them a ride. Someone on the street called the cops, thinking the twins were trying to steal the car. The police weren't informed enough on the situation, so when they arrived, they didn't know who was or wasn't involved. The Uber driver was held at gunpoint while the cops got to the bottom of the situation. The police weren't happy when they found out it was all just a prank. You can't just harass innocent people and expect it to be let go after saying it was a joke. The twin brother Others, who have a total of about 30 million followers, have been charged with false imprisonment and falsely reporting an emergency. What would you do if you were an Uber driver? Tell us in the comments and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 4. Shocking Content A 25-year-old man gave his life while shooting a TikTok video near a railway track in Haryana, India. According to reports, it's being said that the man Vikash and his friend had gone to the railway track at 4 a.m. to shoot some videos for their TikTok. Vikash climbed the electrical poles to get a better angle for the shot, but it didn't go as well as he had hoped. He kept climbing higher and higher until he accidentally touched a high-voltage wire, allowing the electrical current to course through his body. While he was on the pole, his friend was standing on the ground below. When his friend realized Vikish had come in contact with the current, he just ran away, leaving Vikish all alone in an awful situation. Vikish died at the spot, and his body remained on the high-voltage wires for nearly two hours. A passerby found him on the wires and reported it to the police. Railway authorities immediately switched off the power to the wires and took his body down. He had burns all over him and was injured since he had been on the wires for hours. His body was sent to the nearest hospital for investigation and an autopsy. According to the initial reports by police, it seemed that Vikish and his friend were drunk when they had gone to the railway track for the TikTok videos. Police took his phone into custody to get the inside story behind the whole incident. Getting killed by falling on high voltage wires just for a video doesn't seem like an appropriate way for a young man to die. Number 3. Falling from a Crane 
The death of Chinese TikTok star Zhao Kuimei left fans around the world broken-hearted. Zhao lost her life after falling from a crane at a height of 160 feet or just under 50 meters. She used to post daily videos about her life and job on the Chinese version of TikTok and had gained a large number of followers in the process. She worked as a professional crane operator for her day job and during her breaks, she used to do live streams. As usual, she was doing a stream when she suddenly fell from the crane and landed on the ground with her phone. Everyone watching her live stream bore witness to the deadly plunge. The viewers said that they were watching her and then all of a sudden the video went blurry. There was also a witness who said that he saw Kui Mei fall from the crane. He even said she had her phone in her hand while she was in the air. We don't really know what happened or how she fell off, but her family has confirmed that she is dead. Number 2. Floodstream In the Darbanga district of Bihar, a man named Kasim tried to record a video of himself doing stunts while diving into a wild stream of flood water. Kasim dived into the flowing water to get some footage for his TikTok while his friend was recording him, but it appeared Kasim was having difficulty in staying afloat as the water started flowing at a terrible speed. Seeing him struggling in the water, Kasim's friend Afzal dived into the water and tried to save him. Even though Kasim was the one originally doing the stunt, he made it out of the stream alive, but Afzal ended up dying while trying to rescue him. The water was so fast that Afzal didn't get a chance to make it out. He was caught in the current and drowned. When people found out that he had drowned, they dived into the stream to try and save him too, but they couldn't find him, which meant he was already gone. After searching for him for hours, they finally found his body. The National Disaster Response Force also found his phone where he had a bunch of videos and pictures of diving into the floodwater with his friends. The selfies showed that they had been doing stunts like this for a long time, but in this case, the flood stream won. Number 1. Railway Stunt Making stunt videos can be extremely dangerous, especially if something goes wrong. Sadly, something went very wrong for a 22-year-old man when he was challenged by his friend to make a TikTok video on a railway track. Supposedly, the man was walking on the railroad and his friend was shooting a video when a train came out of nowhere and hit him. They both knew that the train would come eventually, and it was the whole purpose of the stunt to let the train pass by. But things went upside down for the poor guy who ended up losing his life. No one really knows whether they were trying to stop the train or let it pass at the last minute, but now it's too late. Even though he was taken to the nearest hospital by a friend, he didn't survive after receiving a head injury from the impact. Although it may seem obvious to most of us, you shouldn't be messing around with something that could potentially kill you. Thanks for watching. What's the craziest thing you've seen on TikTok? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on The Bad Badger.